Hey there curious minds, ever wondered why some people just can't stop looking in the mirror? Today I'm diving into the fascinating world of Menigerm. So what exactly is Menigerm? Well it's a term coined from the Latin words mens meaning mind and imaginum meaning image. Essentially Menigerm refers to a psychological condition where an individual is excessively preoccupied with their own reflection. But why do Menigerms keep glancing at their reflections? It all boils down to a few key factors. First up, let's talk about self-validation. Many germs often seek constant reassurance about their appearance. This behavior can be linked to underlying insecurities, such as doubts about their attractiveness or self-worth. Gazing into the mirror gives them a temporary boost of confidence, even if it's fleeting. Another reason is self-monitoring. People with Menigerm might constantly check their reflection to ensure they meet certain standards they've set for themselves. It's like having an internal checklist, hair in place, clothes look okay, no spinach in teeth. These folks are often perfectionists, striving to present the best version of themselves at all times. But it's not all about vanity or self-love. In many cases, menigerms are battling deep-seated insecurities. They might have experienced criticism or bullying in the past, leading to a heightened awareness of their physical appearance. To cope, they turn to the mirror, seeking control over how they are perceived by others. Now, here's an interesting fact. Menigerm isn't always about the outside. Some individuals use the mirror as a tool for self-reflection. Alita Safwath Sarchin, literally and metaphorically, it becomes a moment of introspection, a chance to connect with their inner self and find a sense of peace or understanding. But here's the kicker, despite the temporary comfort, constantly looking in the mirror can actually heighten anxiety. The more they scrutinize their reflection, the more likely they are to find flaws, feeding a vicious cycle of self-doubt and criticism. So, what can be done? For starters, breaking the habit of excessive mirror checking can be a step toward healthier self-perception. Cognitive behavioral techniques, such as setting limits on mirror time or focusing on positive affirmations can help. And here's a little food for thought. What if we spent less time scrutinizing our reflections and more time reflecting on our inner qualities, our strengths, and what makes us unique? After all, true beauty often shines from within. Thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the human mind. Stay curious, folks.